how jolpidem works in insomnia jolpidem is one of the drug which is called hypnotic and particularly it is called as z hypnotic as the name is going to start with the letter j but whether this jolpidem is similar to benzodiazepines or not in reality jolpidem is partly similar to the benzodiazepines and partly not similar to the benzodiazepines for example if we see the chemical nature chemically jolpidem is not related to the benzodiazepine so jolpidem is also categorized as a non benzodiazepine but if you see the pharmacologically the jolpidem acts like the benzodiazepines not completely like the benzodiazepines but its target is just similar to the benzodiazepines so in this way jolpidem is categorized as a non benzodiazepine that means it chemically it is not a benzodiazepine but still acts pharmacologically as benzodiazepine now let us see what is the structure of this jolpidem jolpidem is made up of the two ring systems one is made up of the pyridine which is then going to be fused with the imidazole ring system so when these two rings are going to be fused it produces the imidazole pyridine ring system so jolpidem is not having the benzodiazepine ring instead it is having the imidazole pyridine ring system this is the structure of jolpidem and we can observe this the imidazole pyridine ring system so which is called as imidazole 12a pyridine and this ring is attached with the nn dimethyl estamide side chain at the third position so in this way jolpidem is a imidazole pyridine ring system with nn dimethyl estamide side chain attached at the third position and we can find that there is no relation between the structure of jolpidem and the benzodiazepines but still jolpidem acts like the benzodiazepines now in this video let us see how it can act like the benzodiazepines and what are the differences between the jolpidem and benzodiazepine if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for getting the notifications on more interesting videos Benzodiazepine receptors can be classified as benzodiazepine one receptors as well as benzodiazepine two receptors based on the subunit they are going to be coupled with. For example, uh, GABA A receptors are having the different subunits like the alpha, beta, gamma, and alpha subunit can be further divided into alpha one to alpha five. So now benzodiazepine receptors can be categorized as a benzodiazepine one and benzodiazepine two based on which subunit is involved in the GABA A receptors. Now. the benzodiazepines like the digepam are non selective towards these receptors they can activate both benzodiazepine one receptors as well as the benzodiazepine two receptors on the other hand jolpidem is selectively activates the benzodiazepine one receptors thereby it really acts as a hypnotic drug now this is one of the difference between the benzodiazepines and jolpidem as we have seen that benzodiazepines can act on the both benzodiazepine one and benzodiazepine two receptors they can produce the hypnotic effect anxiolytic effect anti convulsant effect as well as muscle relaxant effect all these effects are observed with the benzodiazepines but jolpidem mainly shows the hypnotic effect with little effects of anti convulsant and muscle relaxant activities that's why jolpidem can be used for the short term treatment of uh, insomnia because it mainly produces a hypnotic effect with little effects on the muscle relaxation and anti convulsant activities the gaba a receptors are inotropic receptors which are composed of five subunits and jolpidem can bind to the benzodiazepine binding site which is located between the alpha and gamma subunits and once this jolpidem binds to this uh, location then it can activate the gaba so that gaba can act bind to the gaba binding site and here we can observe that the binding sites of the jolpidem and gaba are completely different so that's why jolpidem is going to act as a positive allosteric modulator thereby it increase the binding of the gaba to the gaba binding site and once the gaba binds to the gaba binding site this chloride channel is going to be opened so the entry of the chloride channels within the membrane lead to the hyperpolarization so it can induce the sleep in the patient so in this way jolpidem can act as a hypnotic by binding to the site where the benzodiazepines also bind so in this aspect jolpidem is just similar to the benzodiazepines and it binds to the same site where the benzodiazepines are generally going to bind and jolpidem just like the benzodiazepines it also acts like a positive allosteric modulator for the gaba
but because of the selective activity on the benzodiazepine one receptor zolpidem mainly shows the hypnotic effect how it is given zolpidem can be given as a immediate release tablet otherwise it can be given as an extended release tablet which is also denoted as a cr tablet that is a control release tablet but when we give this extend release or control release tablets these tablets should not be broken because the tablet is going to be coated with a special polymer to release the drug in a controlled way so these tablets should not be broken and they should be swallowed intact so that the drug is going to be released at an extended period and zolpidem can also be given as a sublingual tablet and particularly sublingual tablets are going to be taken under the tongue where the drug is going to be absorbed directly into the systemic circulation without any first pass metabolism so sublingual tablets are having one of the advantages that they can avoid the first pass metabolism as well as they can produce immediate action because the drug is directly going to reach into the systemic circulation now zolpidem can be used in the treatment of insomnia and the dose of the zolpidem is generally more in the males compared with the females so it can be used in the treatment of insomnia where the the 5 to 10 mg dose of this immediate release tablet as well as sublingual tablets can be used otherwise it can be given at a 6.25 to the 12.5 mg of uh, extended release tablet when the zolpidem is used for the purpose of inducing the sleep which is remaining for less than 4 hours then 1.75 to 3.5 mg of sublingual tablets are only given to the patient because they produce the effect for a short duration side effects of zolpidem zolpidem can produce drowsiness headache dizziness dry mouth as we have the side effects and it can also affect the chest pain and palpitations in the patient sometimes it can also increase the anxiety and hallucinations in the patients just like the benzodiazepine zolpidem can also induce the anterograde amnesia which is the loss of uh, memory of current events in the patients but this anterograde amnesia is observed only with the high dose of the zolpidem in the patients antidote for zolpidem this is very important because zolpidem produce uh, some severe uh, cns uh, side effects like hallucinations anxiety and when it is accidentally given they are more troublesome and they should be immediately antagonized now we know that zolpidem can acts on the benzodiazepine one receptors and it is having no action on the benzodiazepine two receptors so we have a drug which block the action of the zolpidem on the benzodiazepine one receptors but actually we have one of the drug flumazenil which can block both benzodiazepine one receptors as well as the benzodiazepine two receptors so flumazenil can be used as an antidote for the zolpidem which is also acts as an antidote for the benzodiazepines So in this aspect again the zolpidem and benzodiazepines are having the same antidote that is a flumazenil. So that's about this zolpidem. Zolpidem is a jet hypnotic and even it is chemically not related with the benzodiazepines but pharmacologically it acts uh, similar to the benzodiazepines. And one of the key difference between the zolpidem and benzodiazepines is that zolpidem selectively acts on the benzodiazepine one receptors whereas benzodiazepines are non selective they can act on both benzodiazepine one as well as benzodiazepine two receptors because of this difference in the selectivity zolpidem mainly produces a hypnotic effect with little effect on the muscle relaxation and anti convulsant activities due to this selective action zolpidem can be used for the short term treatment of uh, insomnia and it can also be used in the treatment of insomnia where the sleep cycle remaining is less than 4 hours in such cases the sublingual tablets of uh, zolpidem can be given so that's for today's topic hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching